Hello friends, this is Dr. Umesh Kumar Arya, Faculty of Media Studies. Till now we have discussed three most powerful reference management softwares that is EndNote, Manly and uh, Jotero and there are tutorials available on these two these three online resources EndNote is the software whereas the Mandalay desktop is a small software which is integrated with the uh, online Mandalay server whereas the Jotero is completely online resource uh, but yeah it gets attached to your Firefox as add-ins so you can say that in a way it resides on your computer so these are all three de facto reference management uh, online resources we should use and they have more or less the same or the different purpose the Jotero is used for mainly saving your bookmarks like visiting the websites and deep inside websites if you like some pages then you can save those pages and uh, they would be displayed here the detailed tutorial has already been posted on the internet by me for that you can see my channel youtube.com slash umesh area right now we are going to discuss the data import and export between these three resources like if I want to export the data from Jotero to Manly then what are the formats what are the uh, things which I need to remember about the import and export of the data so the data needs to move between EndNote, Mendeley and Jotero. So it's not that simply clicking the export button would export the data in a convenient form. There are some of the formats, data formats which we need to take care of. I would start from EndNote from EndNote we can export data and uh, from EndNote we have to export data to Mendeley first and from Mendeley to Jotero this is the journey and vice versa if I want to export the data from Jotero to EndNote then it is sometimes not possible or the convenient because the current version of EndNote X1 doesn't support some of the formats, data formats which the Zotero prepares like BibTeX X1 or some other kind of file formats are also there so which are not supported by X1 version of the EndNote so what to do then so we can do one thing we can place the Mendeley in the center and EndNote is on the left and Jotero is on the right side or you can put any other sequence also I just need to tell you that what is the journey of the data from EndNote to Jotero and vice versa like we can use the Mendeley uh, desktop software in between these two online resources okay let's do it practically see this is the data and uh, if I want to export this data then I would click okay I can go to the file then I can export this then 
I would place it on the desktop and data in EndNote. Here it will say whether to export the selected reference only or the complete file. So we need to select all the references and then we should click export. So it has automatically selected the export selected references. Output style should be selected because if I select the annotated uh, style then the abstract or the citation would also move along but if I select the APA fifth style then only the citation or the reference in the APA fifth format would be exported so it is better to click annotated here and then the most important thing comes we should select the file format like it can be RTF format so that all these references they are published in a MS Word file or in an HTML file and this XML file is very very important because the Mendeley reads this XML file for the data import so if I have to copy my data my references from EndNote to Mendeley then I will select this format and all references and then I will save it now it uh, must have been import, uh, exported now I will go to Mendeley and then I would okay let's see where the export exported file stands yeah this is the all references XML document file exported from EndNote and I will import it into the Manley then I will add files and select this all references XML file yeah this is the one if I ex import it then all these references would be imported into my Mendeley desktop so since all or all these references and note references are already uh, in my Mendeley desktop uh, so I need not to import that again see if I import the XML file from the EndNote then these are the imported references from EndNote so these were the all 116 references exported from EndNote and imported into Mendeley now this data needs to move to Jotaro now I would export this again I have to select all the documents all the documents control A and then I would say export or you can send it by email also I would export them and please make sure that the output file format is RIS so that it can be imported into the Jotaro if this data has to be exported to EndNote then we must select the EndNote XML file but right now I need to export it to the Jotaro and Jotaro understands the RIS format so I would export it now it has been exported let's see yeah this is my collection RIS formatted file and uh, it is ready to be imported into Jotaro I would go to the Jotaro.org or I can 
click jute arrow here and uh, I can make my own new folder with the name that all collection from EndNote and press OK I have already done that this is my collection I'm going to import the EndNote references into this folder so I would click import and I will search for the RIS file format which in this case should be all references this is yeah this is my collection RIS file format collection and you see it is importing all the items and all the data from EndNote to Mendeley and then from Mendeley to Jotero would be imported as such in the same format same attached files or every tag or the keywords attached like this is the data and it shows that these are the files it's more uh, information attached to this if you still want to write more about uh, this online resource or this reference then you can write it here it can be your abstract also it can be anything Now this blue reference without any plus mark means it is just the plain reference of anything. It doesn't have any uh, attachment attached to it. So friends see how easily we have imported the data from EndNote to Mendeley first and then from Mendeley to Jotero and if I export the data from Jotero to EndNote then I will have to export it through the Mendeley so let's go to Jotero and for example I want to export this reference so it will say export selected item or if I want to export the complete library then again I have to select all the reference by pressing control A and then export selected item it will ask about the options whether you want to export notes only or you want to export the attached file also so in most cases you will need the attached file so select this also and uh, what extension file extension would you select for this uh, you would select the bibtex because the bibtex can be imported into the manly exported items desktop and so it has saved this let's go to the desktop and see our exported file yeah this is the exported item this was the reference in the web tags form and this is the file folder in that case we don't have any file right now but it will export it so let's go to Mendeley then and import it Mendeley does not have any specified link to export it says that you can add files so in Man uh, in Mendeley language adding files means simply importing or adding documents from your computer hard drive both are the same thing so we would go to export items and then we would import the exported bibtex item and open it when I will 
open it then it will be selected as the reference here see it has come online reference activists take the revolution online now this bib text format cannot directly go to the endnote it has to come to Mendeley first and then from here if we want to export it then we would export it by selecting the endnote xml file format and then again the same thing it would be exported in the XML file format like it has been done let's see my collection this is the XML document and again it can be imported into the endnote let's import and note import choose file this is my collection yes this one if it is a duplicate then discard it and uh, you can import it import yeah so it is there so friends it is it's very convenient to play with the data between the three reference management resources most of the researchers they uh, spend their time in moving the data between these three online resources but we fail to appreciate one thing that more time or the energy should go into the research publication rather than aimlessly moving the data between the softwares so it is better to have uh, one reference management software in my case it is endnote I love it uh, the way I can and uh, it is so easy and I can fetch the references from online resources also yes it is uh, a reality that all of these resources three resources like endnote Mendeley, and jotaro they have common functions as well as the different ones so we need to employ uh, these three resources as per our own need uh, if you ask me that uh, what is my preference out of three then I would definitely select the endnote as the number one software also friends please see other tutorials on endnote Jotaro and Mendeley so that you can uh, make out more out of this presentation and I promise you that once you employ these methods then uh, your research data references and the citations they would be uh, an enjoyable thing for you rather than the painful one so friends thank you very much thanks for watching